This episode of Love Lauren is sponsored by Scott Bonner Fabrication and Parts. PTO shaft here, and I've got some swirly dirly paint on it. Woohoo! Do whatever you like with it, but this is what I've done with mine. I'm going to slide that in there. It's going to fit through the bearing in this bearing housing, which is the adjustable self aligning type. So it slides through like that and can wiggle to and fro. I've got my um, Woodruff key slot there, and same on the other side. Throw a bit of lube on there. I recall dismantling this machine it was a little bit tricky because the shaft didn't want to come out of the um, out of that bearing. So we'll give it a little bit of extra love just so that it can. And ideally we probably want that bearing fitting tightly in there. So you can see the the boundary of my paint job there probably probably could have come a little bit further in hindsight but nonetheless it's done now i'm gonna leave it as is basically just done the in case you're wondering it's just a matte black satin black paint over a primer um over an edge primer specifically um with a little band of um, i think it's just zinc zinc galvanized zinc something like that um, just used a bit, a bit of thin masking tape cut in half to um, sort of wrap the spiral around so nothing fancy so I'm going to secure the shaft in place here um, with that um, top sprocket next and a key. So that's the little top sprocket. It's got a little tiny little keyway there. This is a new one. For that we need a little key, a little woodruff key, which if you can see it in my hand there, it's about that size, but it just fits in there, and it should be a nice firm fit. That's what we want. The only concern I have here is that the top edge of this sprocket is very, very thin, little top wall there, especially um, on this sort of inner section. Um, I don't want to force that into place in any, in any manner. I'm just going to slide it on nicely like so. Washer goes over the end, of course. That goes over the end. And tightens up. I'm just finger tighten that for now. I'll just mention as well, I didn't clear coat um, this at all. I figure it's going to catch a bit of flack from you know the rotation in this and um, in this clutch fork and whatever else so I'm not too worried about it um, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen it's gonna be a user machine so there's only so much we can do in terms of protecting it all right so that's tight the next couple of items we've got to put in place are this little rubber V washer which sits up against the bearing housing here to keep the muck out of there and because this is a solid deck machine, I've splurged and I've got the solid brass um, thrust pad which fits on here as well. And it comes with a little fiber washer. So hopefully this is all going to fit into place. I think it should. To back it up just a tiny bit to move this guy out of the way. Nice and gently of course. And then I'll just slide this along. I'm just trying to support it all the way for the single reason that my paint job is a little bit on the fresh side here. I don't want to completely destroy it. So that just sits up snugly like so. After that we've got the um, thrust pad. At the top there's a little hole for oiling the, the shaft, the thrust pad. Um, it's very critical that we add oil to that um, every time we use the machine. 
Um, otherwise, even the solid um, the solid brass um, thrust pad will will wear excessively quickly. Quickly, um, we do have the, the fiber washer to um, you know, a bit of an advanced warning system, I guess. Um, if anything's starting to happen to that, then we know that it's time to um, adjust our clutch. Basically, using this lower adjustment screw to make sure that. Um, effectively the clutch is engaged or disengaged correctly. On the twins and optionally on the solid deck machines, um, depending on your budget, there is a nylon version available of these um, these thrust pads. They're exactly the same shape and size. They're just made of a, a nylon sort of, sort of black plastic. And if you've just acquired one of these machines and you've been running it for a while, you're probably not oiling it. And what's going to happen is that thing's just going to um, flog out completely, essentially, on the shaft here. And you're going to be like, what's going on? My shafts, my, um, my clutch won't engage, cutter won't spin, whatever, or vice versa. In which case, um, it's time to replace that little that little nylon thing. It's about $6 if you're running the nylon version. And you basically just take the engine off um, using the, the four mounting points. Um, slide the new one on. It's not the end of the world. You can separate the clutch halves if you need to. Speaking of clutch halves, we'll get this guy into place temporarily. A bit of lube in this Woodruff key slot. Now notably this is the large Woodruff key slot that fits on here. And I'm going to pop a little bit of grease around the shaft as well just to help that clutch cone fit through. I know it fits, I've tested it already. One thing I haven't tested is the um, Woodruff key, so hopefully it's going to fit. So for this job we're going to use the larger Woodruff key. Just to line that back to 12 o'clock to make it a little bit easier to get in there. And it's a very snug fit. I found um, that to be the case also on the last one I did with a new shaft. Um, I ended up having to sand down that woodruff key just a tiny bit, which I think is what I'm going to do again today. So just pull that back out. And I'll just get that little bit of a sanding um, just to, to slim it up just a little bit on the way in. I've got that in there. I test fit either end first and then I'll just give it a, a few little love taps to get it the rest of the way home. So we'll pop our um, clutch half back on here. That needs to be on before we start putting the, um, the clutch cone on. So the clutch cone fits inside of it. With the clutch cone we've also got a little oiler hole at the top. Um, or on one side of it, so it doesn't really matter where it goes because it rotates. Um, but there is the um, little key slot on this as well. So I'm going to line it up to mate with the Woodruff key. I'm going to pop that into place just to avoid any damage. I'm just going to press that on as best I can with some brute force. Added a little bit more paint to the edge of this um, clutch cone the other day, so that's probably um, just gotten in the way slightly. Or the Woodruff key is not quite level as it should be, so I'm going to give it tiny little tap. now on the shaft. I just need to make sure that little grease holes on the top of all three sections here. The clutch cone doesn't matter because it rotates. The thrust pad does because we want oil in there every time we mow. And the bearing housing on the right hand side, it's greased but um, it is oilable if you choose to do so. Mm -hmm. 